Hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning. Y'all know me. Move them damn glasses. So, I'm just coming real quick. Today is my day off. I'm going to work anyway for a couple hours. Make sure that check is fat. Make some overtime. But I just had to come day after election day. Very disappointed in many ways. But happy in others. Big ups to the Democrats for uh, taking over the House. That's what's up. So I'm happy about that. I'm disappointed in other ways for the decisions that people made to vote for people who are clearly racist and, and clearly don't have the best interests uh, of the middle class and the poor or lack thereof the middle class. <clears throat> but... We gonna make it through and everybody just needs to stay confident and stay encouraged and just get on your grind. I'm gonna be making a video soon about little side stuff that you could do real quick in one hour and have your your gas money or have you some um grocery money and coupon and things of that nature. And I wanna um also shout out there's a young lady, I can't think of her name right now, but on that video I will put her link and stuff because she's dope on, on the couponing real simple to the point not all this extra shit that you can't understand but um you know we just got to hang on in there all right so moving right along um i'm saying that um uh, angela simmons baby daddy uh passed and um well was killed well he did pass he dead but he was killed shot up in the head I think they say it like three times outside his house or something like that. It, it, nonsense. So then Regine, Lil Wayne's daughter, her ex was cool with him. And he made a comment because she went on social media like, I'm numb, I'm hurt, and um, I'm going to hold our son down. Thanks for leaving the best gift, the greatest gift. Uh, thanks for leaving behind the greatest gift, something like that. Talking about her son and whatnot. Now, this is the tea here. Now, this is the confusion. And hopefully, this get out to people that will comment on it. But I feel, at the end of the day, that is her child's father. And you got to be a heartless ass bitch not to care. If you find out, y'all ain't even if y'all ain't together, uh, y'all in a, a tumultuous situation, um... You gotta feel, you gotta be a heartless bitch not to feel no type of way that your child's father is dead and gone and and being shot up and killed in the street. Um, she, they were in a um uh, custody battle and um he was paying her like twelve hundred dollars a month and she wanted more money up out of him and so the the things that I have been seeing is he was a street nigga he wasn't no professional nigga with no millions and millions of dollars. He was doing a drug thing. He was doing a gang thing and all of that. So, uh, but at the end of the day, he was paying her twelve hundred, a uh, little over twelve hundred dollars a month for the one kid. This bitch got hella fucking money. Your whole family got hella fucking money. Do you, does one have to be that goddamn petty? I'm sorry. I got four children, okay? Something happened with me and, and my husband. I'm regular schmegler, and so is he. You give me enough, if, and I got a good job, you give me enough to take care of daycare or take care of aftercare or activities, take care of the insurance. I'm good. What the fuck? $1,200 for one kid? You been tell me you can't. Do nothing with that. I mean, I don't understand the pettiness of it all. And so, Regine's ex, what the hell is his name? I think his name is Josh. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he came out like, that's some fake shit. Like, you, she wasn't letting him see the kid and things of that nature. So, it just makes me wonder, like, how does this bitch feel now? Was it worth all that bullshit you was doing? Was it worth you not allowing this man to be around his child and now the man is dead and gone, now your child going to grow up with no father because you wanted some more, more than $1,200 a month? Was it really worth it? Was it? I know she got to be feeling some type of way. Um, just, you know, period, because he's dead, he got killed. So, you know, you can't be heartless. So I'm sure she hurting behind that. 
But also on the other side, was it worth all that shit? Now you ain't got nobody to take to court, boo-boo. Now your child ain't got no father. Was it really worth doing all that shit when you got all that goddamn money and all that access to any damn thing that you want in this world? But you after him 1200 because you want more than 1200 a month? What the fuck was he supposed to get you? Like, come on. And I'm a mom, like, if I had a child support situation, yeah, I bought my shit. But I'm just saying. Like, looking at, like, if he was some big timer with millions and millions of dollars, the way that they do child support, yeah, you're going to get some more money than $1,200. But this man ain't no billionaire. And you went through all this shit. Now the man is dead. Dead. He dead. He gone. Fuck the money. Your, your child ain't got no father no more. So we're really, I mean, this whole situation is crazy to me. I mean, how did, how's this bitch feeling now? I don't know. I, I guess if I was Angela Simmons and this nigga say, all right, I'm going to give you 1200 for the kid every month, I'd be like, all right, fine. Because 1200 ain't nothing but a drop in the fucking bucket compared to all the damn money I got. But that's just me. Rest in peace to him. Praying for her and her uh, and his family and that son. You know, unfortunately, he won't have the opportunity to grow up with his father now. So I'm definitely praying for him too. But y'all, tell me what y'all think about it. Holla at y'all later.